Stick around to the end of this video to learn how you can improve your community building and management skills, and all of this from an experienced community manager. As far as improving your community building and management skills, let's start here. Because there's no need to complicate this learning process. Before all the tricks, start by managing or owning a community yourself. This is simply the best way to learn. There are simply no shortcuts around hands-on experience. Another great resource to take advantage of is School. So if you don't know what School is, School.com is an amazing community hosting platform. You can actually sign up, create a profile for free, and access the official School community, where in their classroom section, where they host their online courses, you can learn a bunch of community building advice there for free. School also has something called the School Games, which is a competition that they have on the website, but you need to actually pay. You need to actually pay to own a community on School to join that. So if you're just starting out, I would say you're best to just create a free profile on school.com, then join the official school community and learn from the classroom there. Another cool thing you can do to improve your community building and management skills is to make your own case study. So commit to your own case studies of communities that you enjoy. What about these spaces do you enjoy? What features do they have? What can they improve on, etc.? These are the kinds of questions that you're going to want to ask yourself when studying communities that you enjoy. Look at communities through the lens of someone who's trying to reverse engineer their success. And a cool tool in that regard, especially when it comes to committing to your own case studies, is what I call the announcements trick, which is to study the chronology of announcements in any given community to see how that community evolved over time and what you can learn from that. And so to get more specific, basically a community has a forum feed and typically the community owner or managers will make announcements and these announcements usually entail updates. And so if you study the chronology of updates, you can see what mistakes this community builder has made. You can see what kinds of updates they've made, what kinds of features they've added. And so you could be the, you could be the wiser and study an entire history of a community that you look up to and learn that way. 